Okay, some of the final things that we're going to be going over is links. Links are, again, just the connection of one website that is not owned by you pointing to you for some particular reason. Usually, they will hyperlink, um, which is you know what you'll see. You'll click on the blue links, and those take you to another page or an article or something else or a new website. Those links will usually have an anchor text, and that anchor text wants really should be your keyword and that key phrase that you want to rank for. So the idea of counting how many inbound links that you have um, is pretty easy to do. Uh, what we're going to do is go through again and just really get a quick analysis of this. And the best way to do that is just to pop into a free tool. And my favorite is backlink checker. And you just go into this and what you'll easily find is there is lots of free tools to be able to check out how many backlinks are going to a particular website. Um, so I'm just going to enter in another one of our clients. Oh, should enter with the HTTP. And what that'll do is simply go through, load different results. You'll see obviously a list of backlinks that you have here. A lot of Pinterest uh, goes through and. There's some that will obviously stop at certain amounts, but there's a lot of free ones out there that will allow you to simply get your entire portfolio and have it scanned. SEO Spider Tool does this, but I'm just utilizing free tools that uh, obviously the other free tools that we pointed out, Wild Shark, Beam Us Up, they don't really do all of this. So again, you may need to use this on your own, do a little research inside of Google to find one that'll kind of map out all of your links that you have inbound, which means it's pointing to your website. So how many do we have? Well, we're going to say 223. How many different domains link to them? So again, you may have one website that's sometimes linking to you in four or five different areas, just simply because they reference you, they reference the article, they go back and it's all the interconnections, but it's one unique domain and if it's counting you multiple times over it becomes a little bit less authoritative you know when someone just mentions you a few times over maybe an entire website it's really great it's awesome but when they start being very repetitive google counts that and looks at it you know if you only have a uh, hundred index pages and five of those pages are pointing towards one website then that is a very striking amount, 5% that you're mentioning this authority website over and over again. So you don't want that to happen too often. You want websites to be very unique and dynamic. So we're gonna say 180, that would be a pretty good number. Of course, in reality, it's probably more likely to be somewhere around 100, uh, but that's even still good having one entire domain register you and link back to you two times. It's very valuable. So is there anchor text keyword focus? This is always going to be a split up between yes and no. Some people are just going to use, you know, click here or uh, site for reference or, you know, it's just gonna be normal style writing. So they're not gonna use your keyword. Sometimes they'll go sales funnel consultant and then it's really you trying to push when you build these articles and you know make these people that you're interlinking with to say hey I want to make sure that you get this keyword specifically linking back to me and the best way to do that is to open up your word editor such as Microsoft Word or um, I believe even Apple just has their own Word doc and hyperlink it yourself and make sure that you're pushing that all together and saying hey the work's all done here's the picture here's everything just simply upload it you're done that's the best way to send off your articles and make sure that the links are being built around the exact phrases that you want don't leave it up to them don't leave it up to chance so do they link internally with good anchor text yes that's just going to naturally happen when you have stylized writing and your keyword just naturally fits in somewhere in the natural speech pattern. You're not trying to force it in. You're not trying to get a lot of keyword stuffing. You're trying to keep your keywords really, you know, your main keyword 1% or lower, that's fine. 
but you're not trying to get it insane like you're mentioning it every 50 words or every 40 words that's too much so do they have a demos listing um, unfortunately demos in the the most recent moments has been discontinued so that's a sad thing to go away um, but do they have a Yahoo directory yes you want that by just simply registering to Yahoo directory um, I obviously get started with going to YP yellow pages Yahoo get my business listings and when I'm able to do that obviously Yahoo directory becomes a lot more easy to get do they have any Wikipedia listings? This is uh, you know, very great to have, but not everyone's going to have it. Usually you have to have a really well written article that creates new research almost for a specific topic, and then that can link back to you. Um, so again, if you really take your time, you can get a Wikipedia listing. Uh, it usually takes about 10 to 15 hours of work um, to do because it's a bit you have to write a really good piece you have to do a lot of research um, you have to submit it to the community and then from there it's just if it really takes if you have a really well written piece that's what they'll enjoy uh, do you have a blog you always should have a blog it's so easy especially with WordPress to get one have you claimed your Google places yes you can even do this if you are not a physical location you can still have Google places that's a really cool thing um, it's just wherever you have a PO box or wherever you locally are you can get a pin code that can be marked on Google Maps so have you claimed other local listings well again most of this revolves around Google places once you have Google places getting a lot of other local listings is very easy sometimes they aggregate but obviously you want to do your own due diligence and the best place I build my links from especially local listings for a brand new website is I will pay 10 25 dollars on fiverr.com have someone build 100 to 200 different listings but i'll go through and i'll make sure i get all the big ones that are manual you know yelp google yahoo yp bing those types of places that you require postcards phone calls things like that i'm going to do that myself manually but i'll outsource the other 200 that would normally take you hours and hours to do and you just send it to them and they get it done in a few days so what linkable assets do they have the main idea behind this is you want to make sure you're linking inside of articles that are well written you have images you have a lot of content that adds value to that page and that makes the asset linkable and um, basically determines how much value that page has which is also known as the page authority what are their most linked to pages so again you want to make sure that a website isn't dedicating a lot of itself towards this main website it's more of it's spread out and it's really wholly based in this sector and that sector and this so they're focused only on you know marketing as a whole and that here's all their affiliate marketing here's all their sales marketing here's the, all their online and all of this different stuff so again they're linking to a numerous amount of websites you want it websites that are linking outbound as well in many different directions like this just kind of like we talked about earlier you know sometimes you're gonna have multiple link outs sometimes just one but overall and your authority web uh, article it's probably gonna have a lot that's that's just always natural for an authority and there you go so again when you build these networks out it allows you to become more natural in your footprint the more natural your footprint is you know there's more uniqueness inside of each thing that you do the more Google sees that the more the search engines see that and take that as valuable input that's all they're really looking for they're trying to index valuable input so we're just gonna say that yes uh, they're most link to pages are you know numerous I know it gets very small um, so because they have a wide variety of websites to link to again that makes them qualified to be experts on what they're linking to as well because they're not trying to have a bias towards something are they active in social media you want to be active in social media yourself also as well the websites that you link to if they're social socially active that means they're going to be highly referenced viewed visited 
And there's a lot of good things that happen from that. So you can even be socially shared as well. So you want that to be the case, but it can be a yes, no scenario. Do list out which platforms, but you're not gonna get this for every single link that you do, just when you're building the most high quality links out there. That's really going to be the case. Other than that, this is really the overall audit that you need to look over when you're trying to view links and their quality, but more so we're gonna be focusing on the on-page, the keywords, the optimization, the sitemaps, and things like that. So we're gonna dive inside of that right now.